Hello YouTube, got some really great news. The jailbreak for iOS 7 devices is finally here. So the jailbreak will work on any iOS device running 7.0, 7.0.1, 7.0.2, 7.0.3, 7.0.4, and 7.1 beta 1 and 7.1 beta 2. Now this will work for any device, again, running any iOS between iOS 7 and 7.0.4 as well as the 7.1 beta 1 and beta 2. Now, this will work on the Windows and Mac. Uh, and the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to uh, back up your device. If you did an over-the-air update um, to your device to iOS 7, you're going to want to back it up first and then restore it via iTunes. And then you're going to go to our website at liberatingmy.com. And you're going to click on iOS 7 jailbreak to get the evasion tool for either your Windows or Mac computer. After you've done that, and you've downloaded the evasion tool, and you've backed up your device via iTunes, you're gonna click on the uh, evasion tool, and it's as simple as clicking jailbreak. Now, if for some reason the jailbreak messes up your device where it won't reboot, you can do a couple of things by uh, just trying to restore it in iTunes, putting it in DFU mode, and then restoring it or uh, just taking it to the Apple Store. Hopefully, they will fix it for you. Uh, the jailbreak is uh, free, so if anyone tries to charge you for it, know that it is fake. Don't pay for it, it's always free. So let's get started. So what you're gonna do is just gonna click jailbreak. It only takes a couple of minutes. It's really easy and simple to do. In the process of it jailbreaking, you're just gonna have to uh, unlock the screen on your iOS device and click or tap the uh, evasion app. So we're just going to hang tight and wait for the prompt to appear in the evasion tool. Now some other things to uh, keep in mind. Um, if there is a new iOS version, most likely Apple will have patched the jailbreak. So never update your device until you've uh, confirmed that the evasion iOS 7 jailbreak does support the newer uh, iOS version that Apple has just released. Doing so uh, might uh, keep you out of the loop in the jailbreak. So you might be without a jailbreak if you do update it to a newer version of the iOS. Also, if you're looking to unlock your iOS device, uh, your iPhone, and it is locked to Sprint, uh, you can use the GPP SIM to unlock it. iOS 7 support is coming soon, so you can check out our uh, site for the GPP SIM and whether or not it'll uh, support the iOS 7 depending on when you watch this video. Now, those of you that are looking for a factory unlock, um, you can click on the factory unlock uh, option on our site, but for Sprint iPhone users, you're going to always have to use the GPP SIM in order to unlock your device. Again, uh, the GPP SIM is the best option for those of you who don't want to pay for a factory unlock or who are unable to factory unlock your device for whatever reason. Um, the GPP SIM will work on any iPhone 4S, 5, 5S, and 5C. Just click below in the description for the details on how to unlock your device. Okay, so now you've got the prompt uh, to continue. Please unlock your device and tap the new Evasion 7 icon. So we're going to slide to unlock and we're going to tap the Evasion 7 tool and let it do what it has to. So it's going to reboot the device. So again, this is the jailbreak for iOS 7.0, 7.1, 7.2, 7.1.3, 7.1.4, 7 and 7.1 beta 1 and beta 2. And if you're looking to unlock your iPhone, you can always go to our website and click on the factory unlock. And those of you that have a Sprint or Verizon iPhone and you're looking to unlock it, just click on Sprint or Verizon unlock. Okay, so we're going to wait for it to finish rebooting. And also those of you who may have a device that is currently uh, locked by the uh, iCloud Find My uh, Find My iPhone app. 
um, you can go to our website and go to blog and we'll show you how you can bypass the lock on it that requires you to put in the iCloud uh, email and or uh, password. Okay, so we're done. So we can exit out of there. So while the uh, jailbreak is doing its thing on the phone, uh, if you go to our website, OnlyBringLive.com, you'll see the Fractal Unlock tab, Sprint Verizon Unlock, and the iOS 7 jailbreak, which is the written uh, tutorial uh, guide for you. And then you can also go to our blog and go to our Contact Us page. Um, if you need to ask us anything about unlocking or jailbreaking uh, in general. So now, those of you who are looking for a factory unlock, here's a list of the factory unlocks that we offer. And if your uh, carrier isn't listed here on any of the pages, you can always contact us. And those of you that have a Sprint or Verizon uh, iPhone and you're looking for an unlock, just go to Sprint Verizon Unlock. And keep in mind that most of all of the Verizon iPhone 5 and later versions will come unlocked. Very few of them um, come locked. So just keep it in mind for a Sprint Verizon Unlock, uh, just click Sprint Verizon Unlock and it'll take you to the GPP SIM, which will also work on all GSM and CDMA iPhones. Okay, so now if we go to the Cydia app, It's going to prepare the file system, so it'll take a couple of seconds. So I'm just going to wait for that. All right, so it is finished. So now we can go open up Cydia. We're going to select uh, user. If you're a hacker, select hacker. If you're a developer, you know what to do. Okay, so you're gonna type user and Cydia will load. And there you go. You have a jailbroken uh, iPhone 5 on iOS 7.0.4. Now, if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below. You can send us an email or an iMessage if you have any other questions about unlocking your iPhone or jailbreaking it. Hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment and like below if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.